Contentment is an empire that never collapses. Contentment is a wealth that shall never be diminished. Sayings such as these from the Ahlul Bayt, may peace and blessings be upon them all. And similar such sayings are perhaps ones that we have heard many a times. Time and time again, we're all encouraged to have contentment. We're encouraged to be content. We're encouraged to demonstrate contentment within every aspect of our lives. We all want it. Who doesn't want contentment? Who doesn't want to be content? Yet, however, this word contentment can somewhat appear to be elusive. Something that is difficult to find. Something that we really want, eagerly wait for, and try and search for within our lives. However, it always appears to be just beyond our grasp. You see, contentment isn't a temporary feeling or a temporary mood that comes and goes, swings back and forth, that drifts and flows. Rather, contentment isn't something that happens to land in a good place once in a while, that is dependent on, for example, whether or not you're having a good day or a bad day, whether or not the weather outside is sunny or rainy, whether or not my favorite team in, the, in sports won or lost their game. No, contentment is much more than that. Contentment is a decision that you make in your life to have. It is a decision that we practice within our lives to cultivate. It is a decision that we learn within our lives to have. It's not dependent on temporary moods and attitudes. It's a long-lasting attitude. You see, when we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, please grant me content. Oh Allah, make me content. How is Allah going to answer that dua for us? Is He going to, for instance, create a warm and fuzzy feeling within our heart and suddenly the whole world appears to be content for us? Or is Allah going to, for example, reveal His Archangel Jibra'il? Or Jibra'il is going to inject us with, with, with an injection which has a serum of contentment within it? No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to grant us opportunities, ones that we can use to cultivate contentment within our lives. He's going to send down role models so that we are able to emulate within our lives, so that we are able to decide and learn and practice contentment slowly, slowly. And what better role models to emulate than those of the Holy Prophet and his holy progeny.